which job is definitely overpaid. I make about 40 an hour after tax in the U.S. as a real estate appraiser. You just need a college degree and a year of training and there is a huge shortage of appraisers right now. I don't even know why a degree is needed for the position. Because, it's the new high school degree basically a certification that proves you're competent in white-collar environments. Did you misspell proves on purpose? Yes, they were trying to show you how you can be confident in your ability and incompetent, at the same time. Hence, why the degree is somewhat required. Just sold a house at a decent number over asking. Couldn't tell you how surprised I was when the appraisal came out to be exactly the sale price. A four-year-old could accurately appraise, at this moment in time. I didn't even believe the house was worth what we bought it for eight years prior. This market is insane right now and if anybody has the chance, they'd better take it before that gap closes again. Not advice for all, you know. Who you are though, make the play. I make low six figures to protect a nuclear power plant from a terrorist attack. But mostly I play video games and scroll Reddit. Dude come on we actually need you. Honestly, nuke plants are such hard targets and the chance of actually causing a radiological release is so small that I'd be very, very surprised if any terrorist group would even put it in their top 10. We're effective deterrents, I guess, but on the flip side, I'm paid extremely well to do a job that I will probably never have to do. It's interesting, I was hardcore military, and existed in the marksmanship world of rifles and pistols. I worked really hard at it, paid my own money and my own time to be one of the better military shots in my country, and was exposed to a wide variety of trades inside and outside of the military. Different types of cops, ERT guys, special forces, regular gun nuts, foreign militaries, etc. The one group I was probably most impressed with from a mindset slash training standpoint was the security guys at nuclear reactors. Not overly aggressive, excellent training plans, no bluster, heads screwed on straight, and great shots. Mine? I get paid $20.50 an hour to watch dirt go by on a belt all day. I am a handy man that charges $50 per hour with a 3 hours minimum. A couple months ago I got a call for service that consisted of changing nine smoke detector batteries, two light bulbs, and re-hanging a picture. I felt bad taking the money but the guy couldn't have been happier to have that stuff finally done. He asked for my card and is now a very good client. Once you start making a certain amount of money, time becomes more valuable than money. And if you can pay someone to increase your free time, it's worth it. My hubs calls it throwing money at whatever task we don't want to do. We throw money at our yard boys who cut our grass, high school kids, and our dog groomer. I agree, well worth every penny. I'm here for a potential change of career. Go to Wall Street Bets. They can help you become homeless. Or rich. Or homeless. There are different ways of being rich. Some are rich with money. Others are rich with friends and family, still others with a wealth of experiences. Me, for instance, I'm rich on this statement from last month. I'm wealthy in autism. Where do I head to sign up? Uvalde police. Who shots for oh, wait, megachurch pastors. People who claim to care about God and helping people shouldn't get their flock to buy them a tax-free Gulfstream private plane. Thank you. Biggest hypocrites ever and usually very unwelcoming to the poorest people. I've seen it. They should all be rounded up and put on a dude ranch to shovel real bullshit like they spew in their multi-million dollar churches. Clowns. They be getting paid 15k a month for something Twitter users do for free. You try putting on a red nose and hiding in storm drains, waiting for kids in yellow raincoats smh. Get paid to do what I normally do for fun. Hell yeah, I make over 60k a year checking people's onboarding paperwork. Hi, could please tell me how to get a job like this? 
I graduated with an education degree and my background is mainly working with kids, but I hate teaching so much and I never want to do it. My family pushed me into it and I'm desperately looking for something outside of education. I can't deal with the educational climate right now and the awful kids. I've been trying to switch to HR or something. But I can't get hired anywhere, because everyone wants a business degree and like minimum 5 years experience for anything. I make 86k doing HR. My recommendation is to get a certificate like the SHRM Certified Professional or Professional in Human Resources. Get creative when you look at the requirements to take it, send in your job descriptions and they will let you take it because they want your money. I got my PHR years ago before I had a degree and was earning 50k right away, the degree and experience has bumped me. I get paid 67k a year to literally stare at my computer screen and do nothing. I'm surprised I haven't been let go yet to be honest. That's just office work tbh. On a good day I probably do a solid 3 out of 8 hours of actual real work. It was wild, to me realizing my managers are basically all just chatting for a good portion of the day. They've been working together for longer than I've existed in some cases, still genuinely good managers, not like clinging on or something. Coming from food, service, which I still do for funsies on Friday, paid $11 per hour to work my ass off in 100 degrees, it's nice. In the office I make my rounds when I go to the bathroom and chat for like 45 minutes, then back to the cube to read or shoot off some emails. I work very quickly so I just figure they're paying me for capacity to take on workload. Plus I also need mental breaks to be happy. I earn that time by being fast. A lot of my job is just waiting for people to reply to my emails anyways. But it's truly wild the kind of stuff I get paid to do now, and I'm a great worker. Yeah I used to be a line cook and that low skill shit job was 10 times more difficult and paid far worse than my office job which requires a master's. It's all just a fucking joke. I watch milk powder go into a bag and out on a conveyor and get paid $37 an hour. Union? Union and great superannuation scheme. You put in 6% and the employer will put in 9%. Been here since I was 20. In the last 4 years my wage has gone up $1.25 an hour a year plus in COVID we got a cash bonus for being a critical worker. A $1.25 increase in 4 years is not great. A lot better than many jobs, but that says more about the labor market than anything. $1.25 per year and if it's 37 now they probably started at 32 or 33 per hour which is good unless there's some transferable skills or lots of opportunities up the ladder, this does sound like a dead-end job. I hope Op understands what kind of future he wants. $1.25 a year, correct plus heaps of development for growth but of course with a union the agreement changes every three years. Just turn 25 and have been offered a opportunity for a team lead position which starting rate is $42 an hour. They provide a super annuation scheme where if you put in 6% they will contribute 9% into your superannuation as well as to your KiwiSaver. Supply free health and life insurance to all staff members and 50% to direct family members they also have good discounts with major supplies like Samsung 25% off phones, Mazda 12% off some new cars slash utilities, Bunnings, trade discount, no lemming, price plus 15%, plus a lot more I own two investment properties as well for my future endeavors and run a business on. The side too. Completed a degree in dairy processing majoring in pediatric specialty all paid through the company only a dead end job if you choose to perceive it like that, but I perceive it as a great place to work. There are an incredible amount of analysts who just own automated Excel sheets they received from developer teams. Low to mid six figures is common in high cost of living areas. 
I do the tax returns for a guy who paid 20k for demographic research software and made something like 40m over the last three years. His costs are almost nothing and admitted he does like five hours of work a week on it. Edit. I got more likes and comments than I thought I would, and wanted to add some more detail. The guy himself is super nice and easy to work with. It's hard not to feel jealous even though I make good money myself. His business and personal returns are super simple so we don't even charge him that much for them. The software is something proprietary he paid a third party for, and I don't know the name of that developer. The data output is sold to political campaigns and he's compensated more if the campaign wins. He did have some clients on both sides but now exclusively works on one side of the aisle. What on earth does this person do to make 40m over three years with demographic research? Probably consulting on political campaigns and also, doubtless, a shit ton of marketing. Bob, what do black people like this week? How? About middle-aged suburban males between the ages of 35 and 50 who are recently divorced. Check spreadsheet. Cars. And for the latter large barbecues, and cars. Shut up and take the 40M bob. Fucking take my money. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed please consider subscribing to this channel, you'll get daily videos that are just like the one you just watched. Enjoy the rest of your day.